Spiritual Flows. What is life? Insights into life, love and light. The questions that the author had asked, these could be answered in a philosophical manner, but philosophy never transforms anyone. For transformation, you have to use the scientific method. And this is the way of Tantra. That's why the author calls this series of books Life, Love and Light, Light Onto Myself and Life of Bliss as the Tantra series. When this is a simple question that life asks on a day-to-day -day basis. What is life? And most of us do not have an answer to this question. We take it for granted. But in order to traverse through life's roads, you must know what it is, how to live. If you do not know a particular tool, a particular appliance, you do not understand it, then you will not be able to use it. And in using, you may damage it. So life just is a flow. Life is just a flow, a bottomless abyss. Such is the beauty of the mysteries of life, says the author. Life is the only true scripture undefined and unwritten. We go for Bible, Quran, Bhagavad Gita and other scriptures and we forget the living scripture which is life. It is only true scripture undefined and unwritten. It is like a path. As you move forward, you make your way. Learn to read bliss will overflow. Confidently, with her own experience, the author tells the reader, life is an orchestra. Because of her musical background, she says that life is an orchestra. It is true. There are various centers. Just as in a musical orchestra, there are percussion instrument, bellow instrument, wind instrument and a stringed instrument. When you look at the life, the human body clearly, then you will know all these things are provided by the existence to us. If life is an orchestra, then you can tune it to live blissful or live it untuned and miserable. The choice is yours. The author gives a clear choice for the reader. At birth, you have no name, just breaths. At death, there is a name, but no breath. The journey between breath and name is life. Very clearly she says that at birth, you have no name, but only breath. You can breathe. But at the moment of death, you have a name, you have a status, you have a fame, but you have no breath. So between these two shows, breath and name, is life flows. To inquire what is life alone, is incomplete without understanding what death is. Both life and death are together, inseparable, like the two shores of a river or two sides of a coin. They support one another like two poles of a magnet. The north and south pole, their energies attract one another. And with that attraction for one another, there is a magnetic pull 
and a magnetic field. So when life and death are harmonized, they create a magnetic pull, magnetic field within which you learn to live life. The art of living comes in that. The energy that flows between two poles is indeed life, transcendental. But you have to start with what life is. Because the shore, this is the shore that you are standing. You can only speak of the near shore where you are. But we are always interested in far away things. Life is like the sky. Sometimes there are dark clouds, while other times white clouds, and sometimes no clouds at all. The clouds come and go, but the sky remains unaffected. The moments of bliss, despair, harmony, disharmony come like different colors of cloud on the inner sky. The sky remains, but the moments of bliss, despair, harmony, etc. does not stay. Life is in living. A very strong statement. Life is in living. How you live your life, tuned or untuned, as she says that you can tune it into blissful note or in a miserable note. But basically just as each orchestra is tuned at one scale, life has to tune at one scale. That is a scale of transformation. Life is not anything like an object. It is a continuous process like a flow, just as a river rivers, continuously flows, so too life continues to flow. There is no way for you to attain to life except by living it moment to moment. This is a scientific manner. Life is never except by being alive, flowing and streaming with it. You are seeking the meaning of life in some dogma or a scripture, philosophy or some theology. Then you are certainly going to miss life and its meaning as well. Life is not somewhere yonder in the woods waiting for you. It is con constantly happening within you. Life is not in the future as a goal that you will arrive at it one day. It is here now, this very moment. Life is your breathing. Life is circulating in your blood stream, constantly beating in your heart as your heart beat. A very poetic expression of life. Life is circulating in your blood stream, constantly beating in your heart as your heart beat. Constantly beating in your heart as your heart beat. Whatsoever you are is your life and the way it is happening is your living. A very clear and simple distinction between life and living. Whatsoever you are is your life and the way it is happening is your living. And if you start seeking meaning somewhere else, you will constantly miss life. Man has done this for centuries. Life as a concept has become more important. Explanation too has become significant. In this process of seeking, 
In this process of seeking meaning or reality, what life is has been forgotten. What is the way of living is also forgotten. You do not look to what is already here. You do not look at what you do not look at that which is already here. Instead, you are constantly seeking rationalization for that which is not a reality. Life is a river without end, or like the endless vast sky is spread like a canopy. Life is a river without end. Or like the endless vast sky is spread like a canopy. No one can give you the meaning of life. No one can give you the meaning of your life. It is your life. Meaning will also be yours. It is you who has to give meaning to life that you are. Meaning arises as you travels. No one except you can come upon it. No one except you can come upon it. It is your life and it is only accessible to you. No one else can access your life. It is like your email that only you can access. You need a password. Remember only in living will the mysteries be revealed to you. What a poetic expression the author has used to explain the intricate things. Never seek life anywhere else, not even in me. I am outside you. Not even in the scriptures, they are also outside. Not in clever explanations. They all will explain life away from you or stuff your mind with this and that. The more the mind is stuffed or conditioned with dead or borrowed knowledge, the more stupid you become. You do not have answers when life asks simple questions to you. Knowledge makes man stupid and dull his intelligence. Life is already bubbling in you. It can only be contacted where it is bubbling. Life is already bubbling in you and it can only be contacted where it is bubbling. Temple of life is deep within you. Temple of life is deep within you and you are the shrine of life. You are the shrine of life. You are the origin from where the river of life originates. You are the shrine of life. You are the origin from where the river of life emerges. So first thing to remember, if you want to know what life is, never seek it outside. Never seek it outside. Never try to find out from someone else because the meaning of life cannot be transferred. Because the meaning of life cannot be transferred. And your meaning of life will differ from mine. Very important. If you want to know what life is, never seek it outside. Never try to find out from someone else because the meaning of life cannot be transferred. And your meaning of life will differ from mine. Enough for now.